often, uh, usually it's been late goals this year from Lexi and, and players like that that have helped you out. Tonight, first minute of the game, that really changed things right off the bat. And we just talked about the mentality that we needed to start with, and we knew that if we jumped on them early that we could probably set the tone for the match. And I thought the girls did a really good job with that. We kind of dried up there for a little while. I was wondering if we were going to get a third, so it was nice to see him punch another one in in the second half. That goal line clearance that Mary had was really a crucial play when you look back at it now, isn't it? She is an unsung hero of the team for sure. Mary is actually plays center back for her college, and we've played her at outside back, and she's been fantastic back there. Gets up and down the line, just tireless worker, um, great at joining the attack, really good 1v1 defender. So for her to get woman of the match tonight was pretty, I'm, I'm excited for her. It's awesome. Boy, we talked about during the season it was tough to get those clean sheets, but this is the time of year you really want them now, isn't it? Yeah, right. If you can keep the zero on the other side of the scoreboard, odds are good you're going to win a lot of matches. So I'm happy for that. I thought Grace played well. She didn't have to, wasn't called into a lot of action tonight, but um, did a pretty good job of commanding the back line. So yeah, happy with our defensive effort. Tough to wait around for this one? Uh, you know, no. I, I told Jeremy before we started that I hope that Grand Rapids and Detroit went to all through the overtime and into the shootout, and then I hope that it was a really physical game. And uh, I don't think it was a physical game, but they had to play a long time. So hopefully we're going to be a little bit more fresh. We got to rotate some players into the game tonight and and uh, rest some key people. So hopefully we'll be fresh come Saturday. Got to be excited for it too. Oh yeah, we're excited. The players are excited. You know, um, to be able to have the opportunity to you know qualify for the national tournament that we would host would be an amazing thing for those players. So I know they're very excited about that opportunity. Well, we're used to you scoring late goals, like 88th, 89th minute, first minute of the match. That's got to be something a little bit different there, but it was a nice way to start for you guys. Yeah, we came out excited, and Coach told us it'd be good if we got a goal in the first five minutes, and everyone worked hard and had good passes, and Anna had a perfect ball in my head, so I just finished it. That really took them out of the match right away, too. All their prep just went right out the window, and you guys were really controlled from that moment, weren't you? Yeah, we stayed strong the whole half, and came out and we were fit that so we kept going and it was good. I'm sure this is exactly where you guys want to be too on the championship game Saturday night playing on your home field. Yes it's honestly perfect but we got to come out and give it our all because we know GRFC is a good team so staying composed and get some rest these next couple days and feel fresh on Saturday. All right. Well, Mary, uh, woman of the match is, is a great accomplishment, but I'm sure you want to give credit to the whole back line and the way you guys played tonight. Yes, for sure. It was definitely a team effort, and we always have each other's back in that back line. I love playing with those girls, so it was definitely for sure us four together. Tell me about that uh, goal line clearance there in the second half. Um, yeah, I guess uh, I just listened to Grace. She told us to hold and not go up. We always are not supposed to go up until she says to go. So it kind of just came right at me, and I just... Hit it right out. I knew I had to take one for the team because I was not allowed, about to let them score. Crucial time then, too, if they would have scored right there, wouldn't have been. Yes, for sure. It definitely would have changed the game. So, yeah, we had to keep that out of the net. <laughs> and now you're where you want to be, playing for the title on Saturday night. Right? Yes, I'm so pumped, and I'm pumped that it's home. It's awesome. Fans are going to be great, and they were so great tonight. They helped us a ton. So.